Alright, so I'm actually going to go over a really, really awesome tool. I'm actually pretty excited that I actually found this tool. Because now I started to do in-home service where I go out to the house and repair the computer uh, on the on site. With, with, I got a pretty decent uh, internet connection at home, which is 12 megabytes down. No, wait, 6 megabytes down and one up which is not too bad for a DSL connection it's it's pretty nifty it's not too bad I can't really complain and for the price one I can't argue either uh, but when I go to the client's house most of the time they'll have a very very slow internet connection and now since I started wiping and reloading wiping reload which means back up their their data and then format the format the hard drive and install the ori the original operating system on there which is the the safest way to make sure that there's no viruses on there and so on and so forth and i just got tired of dealing with viruses and so it's just easier just to format the whole damn thing and just and just reinstall all their applications and 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 back up their data so when you do that you find yourselves like you're probably two or one service pack behind the current service pack so you gotta download all those service packs all over again and and if they have a slow internet connection it's gonna take quite a while so this tool is called uh, Windows SUS offline update I'm not quite sure what the acronym stands for but whatever and their slogan is since security and time and bandwidth are money and that is true I do have a bandwidth limit although I never exceeded but I do come close to it, and most of the time I'll, I'll be getting close to it by downloading all these ridiculous updates that I use over and over again. So th this application, I believe, is made by made it, made in Germany because the little flag up here says the server is located in Germany. So I don't know, I don't know if that means anything. And if you go to the home page, it's actually in German too. So it's actually in German. So so th this so this is basically it. So you go ahead and just click version 7.4 right here to the right hand side of the screen just go ahead and click it and it'll tell you to save that but I already saved it on my computer okay so let me go ahead and bring it up and show it the process is very easy there's nothing to it you just need a little bit of time and you just gotta give it some time uh... where is it oh there it is okay so this is basically the contents of the folder after you extract it you wanna go ahead and just hit the click update generator and these are all the the versions you can download. If you're gonna download just one particular version, like I usually end up working on just Windows XP or Vista. Most of the times, those are my clients. I rarely get Windows 7, but I haven't used it. So you want to make sure you check in the the correct tick box for whatever language you're going to. Uh, make sure you do not download. You don't have any extra tick marks in there if you're just downloading one version of the operating system. Because it's gonna take you for a, it's gonna take you a while, and so he, here are some of the options. You can, I just check all of them, just to have them on my DVD, and I create an ISO image. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you briefly how the, the process works. So after you selected your version, because I already downloaded the Vista 86 version, just go ahead and if you want to make it for USB, I haven't messed around with the USB too much. I want to use the uh, the DVD drive instead. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create an ISO image. So I'm gonna go hit and start. So this command prompt pops up, and it's going to tell you oh, it's downloading X update, it's downloading, it's verifying this, it's verifying that, and uh, this will take you approximately a couple, two. Uh, it took me like two hours to download the Vista one, but it all depends on the internet connection. So after that's done, I'm going to go ahead and close because I don't want to download it. So no, I don't want to do that. The only reason the error came out was because I it was starting to download, and uh, yeah, okay. So after after it's completed, after the command prompt phase, if you want to call it that, is finished, you want to go ahead and where is it? Oh, here it is. Here's here's the directory. You want to go to the ISO, and here are the three versions I downloaded so far. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. And so to show you how this works, let me go ahead and open up my virtual box. So I can go ahead and start. Let me, let me give you one second. I'll be right back. All right, so here's my virtual box. I'm, I'm actually going to go ahead and mount the XP ISO, I believe. That's going to be it. So I basically put in the drive, and there it is, and just like that. And you can actually just go ahead and start, and it'll just update every single update that's not have not been installed. And let me just go ahead and just update a single update. Let me just go ahead and install Microsoft Security. Yes, you go ahead and do that. Yeah, and verify you want to do that. And then you can even do automatic reboot and stuff like this. So go ahead and start. It's going to bring up the command prompt and it's going to install it 
through the command prompt and uh, that's basically it. So this is a very nifty tool. I actually burned them on DVDs or I'm gonna say I burned it on DVDs so I can cut my time and so I can actually get all those updates in just a single single click like this and yeah that's basically hopefully you learn something new if you like the video give it a like if you like these kind of videos subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching I think this one was a bit shorter than I normally am trying to get better at them if you have any other questions or if you want me to do some videos or some other programs that might be up there that you're interested in that I might take a look just leave it in the comments and so on and so forth so thanks thanks for watching and have a nice day